Honesty Music Entertainment is a complete multimedia studio registered in Nigeria. We offer complete media production, our state-of-the-art audiovisual equipment and the latest and also the best you can ever get in town. Our services include analog and digital recording, filming and documentary, live video recording and shooting, record label and artist management, talk shows and reality programs, event packaging, full event planning, marketing, media services, photography, live band and DJ services. For top-notch quality audio, video and other media production services, patronize Honesty Music Entertainment. 17 Olufemi Ojo Street, off Sha Sha Road, Akonwajo, Lagos. Telephone 080-230-65504-090-285-40937. Honesty Music Entertainment, setting standard. <laughs> One dear man of God is my friend, invited us and he now asked me, okay, please, can you give me logistics, what it will cost to fly the team? So by the time we did the flight calculation, <laughs> I told him, he told me that he has a choir. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, it, it was a joke, but it was just too... Yeah. It was just too high to, yeah, the for, money for, for them, you know. Logistics, so yeah. what we also do is that I tell people, this is ministry. It is not business. It's ministry. I've been to some places where they, they, have, they, they had sent the honorarium ahead. Then when you get into the place and you look at the congregation, you start to wonder, how did these people gather this money? Did they sell their houses? And 90% of the time, I gave them back their money. Wow. can ask my team members. So wow. it's, not, it's not business for me. And why am I able to do that? Because I have invested in other things. Yeah, you don't depend. Yeah, so now I can do ministry with ministry mindset. That is it. When the Lord is saying, give back the money, give back the money. But if you have not invested in something... You're only living on that. The God will be telling you, give back the money. You'll be fighting with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Because <laughs> if you give it back, what will what happen? What are you going to eat? Exactly. You know, wow. so what it also helps you to do is to be well balanced, to be able to do ministry with a ministry mindset. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome, sir. Thank you very much. And um, the another thing I want us to look at is like like the advice you have for all this upcoming. Just round it up. I don't know. Well, it's a it's a lot of advice for the upcoming. First and foremost, you cannot give people what you don't have. Wow. It's called gospel music, and gospel is the word of God. So you need to just keep the music aside first and feed on the word. Or else you really don't have anything to give. It will just be another empty sound. So you have to study the word of God. You have to do your quiet time. You know why I always tell them quiet time is very important because, see, the, the, the song that God gave you, from experience I can tell you, the song that hmm. the, the Holy Spirit gave you cannot be the same with the one you wrote from your head. Hmm. It's not, it cannot be the same. Most times, the one that the Holy Spirit gives you, he promotes. The one that you wrote, you promote. Wow. You are, you'll be the one to do the promotion. You know, and how it works for me That's is that true. during my quiet time, I can receive a chorus. Let's say, Lord, you reign forever. You're the same. I can receive just that chorus in one quiet time. So do I call a producer the next day immediately and begin to work on the song? The answer is no, because that is the download is not complete. You're making a spiritual download. Now you have downloaded just chorus. So what do I do? I can't, when in my next quiet time, I begin to use the chorus to worship God in my next quiet time. I'll do it long enough, the verse will come. Hmm. Not for, I'm not right. I don't, have you ever seen me no. write a song? I no. don't write. I don't write. I have never written. With all the albums, I have never put pen on paper. So in the next quiet time, I begin to use the chorus to worship God. And before you know it, I'll download the verse. And I'll continue. That's what I'll do until the download is complete. So the song is complete. And I did not write one line. So when the music comes out, boom. And, Everybody's and, like... Uh, see, and when, when such thing happens, God will give you the right people. That's how you came. Yeah. Do you understand? It was him that brought me. It was, my, <laughs> it was God that brought you. From uh, Spain. Exactly. Do you, so it was God that brought you my way because I did not come to meet you. Yeah. You heard the music and said, hmm. There is something here, and that's because 
of where I'm coming from because of the way I also kept the music pure. So when I receive music, uh, people have said to me, uh, why do you always mix Igbo and English? I said, I, that's my thing. Just don't worry about yeah. it. Do your all English. That is it. Just leave this for that's me. What that's the, yeah, that's what I received. I'm not going to dilute it. I'm not going to change it. And guess what? Everybody, Don Moen, everybody is singing the music like that. Yeah. They are beginning to learn the Igbo by force. Yeah, that is it. It yeah. becomes a trend. <laughs> yeah. So it has become a thing. They are beginning to learn it by force. So what I will tell them is, young, upcoming, do your quiet time so that you receive more than you write. You must receive more than you write. If you write more than you receive, hmm. it's, 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 it's a problem. That is key. That yeah. is key. You, you have can't. to listen yeah. to this. You know, if you use your head to write more than you receive, it's, it's, it's a problem. So when you receive that, when the download is now complete, even the Holy Spirit will suggest to you, the producer, somebody that... It's not everybody that can work on your song. Yeah. You can't carry your song that God gave you. And you go to a studio where they produce secular music, they smoke, they drink. You don't know the spirit in control of the atmosphere. You say, I'm just going to a studio. Go to it, casually, you're just, going you're, to, just you're just singing. So to you, it's just singing. So you think you can carry that anointed music to walk into an environment where you don't know the spirit in charge. And some of them, they go there, they don't even pray before they start their session. So they just go there and they just start. And you think you will come out and the music will be okay. You know, it's kind of That's what I told people. I said, that's what makes honesty different. Then. Yeah. Because you are doing this wonderful and uh, spiritual thing. And when you are done, you actually go and hand it to someone who doesn't know the value. Yeah. Who doesn't understand, who doesn't respect, nor care about what you have done. Yeah. And he will begin to bring his own spirit. Yeah. To put in that which you have done. Yeah. And that music becomes because God will remove his hand from it. Yeah. Yeah. So and I tell people that. I say, when one to come, I didn't come for 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 me to to do business. It was not actually business, like I said. It was God. The first time, as I said, sorry, I played definition. It became my I will go to God. The first time. I will go and supply it to some people in the market. They will look at me and say, Nigerian music, gospel, who is buying it? Mm. I said, do you know the content of this? I will go home, I will play it, I will play it. I will begin to use it to pray. I will begin to take it to my altar, and begin to ask God, I begin to dedicate the song. I said, God, this song is beautiful. I don't know what you can do, but help us. Mm. Because I know that this is beautiful. You are not there. Yeah. And you didn't give it to someone who is not also spiritual. Who just want to do business. Who just want to do business. So when I listened to the music, I was connected by the Spirit of God. And God told me, this is your brother. So to me, it has to work. Yeah. I remember one lady then, I took the, some of the music then to her. She said, this man that used to bring, uh, what the Igbo people call her, Kwahe. every time you go and bring something we don't know. I looked at her that day, I was angry in the spirit. I said, you come back to beg me to have a copy of this album. She said, no problem, I'm a businesswoman. If it happens to be so, I will pay you and I will buy it. But for now, don't come here. I will go home and listen to this music, bring it to the people, show them, sing the song for them, tell them how sweet and beautiful it is, they will laugh at me. But you see, I keep going because I hear something. Mm. I mm. keep going because I understand something. I remember something that Adrebasi told me one day. You know, I when I when he has his first album, I had it, and I was like, wow, this is beautiful. I began to work on it. At the point in time, I was working on it until one day he told me, it's like you believe in this album more than me. I'm saying it on camera so that he can testify to what I'm saying. He said it. He said, You are even believing in this music more than me. That what you are doing. You use it for everything. You put it everywhere. And it's like, wow. Even when it was not selling, he said, with both of us together, and my own is to prepare the music, and your own is to take it up. Yeah. There are many people that it happens like that. Yeah. There was this man, uh, this pastor now, uh, Pastor Elijah Yolade, that sang Glorious God. When I was introduced to him, and they, I listened to Show Us Your Glory, I said, wow. What is this? 
I begin to use it to pray. I begin to use it to worship God. He entered my spirit. One of the things a lot of people were angry with me, or some of the musicians, was that when they bring music to me to, to listen to, when I listen to it and I don't feel that power, I don't feel that anointing, that spirit of God, I won't sell it. I will tell them no. Because you cannot give people what you don't Some have. Some will tell me, I will pay you. You are doing business. I said, no. I won't sell this. I'm building a brand. Not just a brand for myself, for God. He hmm. sent me. So if I play your music and I don't feel the Holy Spirit hmm. and the power of God in your music, I won't sell it. Irrespective of how much you want to pay me, I don't want to sell it. So that was what, why the standard keep coming. That honesty, keep bringing out the best. Honestly, keep, because there was this connection from the production of that music to the person, to the person that is going it. to distribute it. Because I believe in them. I prayed, I prophesied. In the morning, I'm going out. That is what I do. And deliberately, I decided I'm not going to touch anything secular. So this gospel is what I have. It's in my hand. I'm playing it. I'm saying, God, God, this is my business. This is what you have called me. Remember, I was selling spare parts. And you brought me to come and do music. Not because I want to do this business, but you brought me to it. Please help me. I keep breath. How many? Because then it was only me. If you come to Alaba, for example, then and said, I have gospel music, they say, go to Honest. Mm. Mm. That is the only one that sells gospel. Nobody else. They sell everything. If you sell it, they sell. But Honest to promote Honest uh, gospel. No, 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 no. Go to Honest. And it became a brand. It became, it became like, I mean, something that is. For me, I was proud of it. Even when it was not going, even when it was not selling, even when nothing was... You know, you know the passion? You know when we did a concert in, a, yeah, in Port yeah, Harcourt? Yeah, yeah. When the concert came up, I wasn't having the money. But I said, God, help me. However, I borrowed money, I took from here, I took from there, and we went to Port Harcourt and did that concert. I'm not doing it because... Somebody called me, some artists that came for that concert, they called me. Say, how can you do this? You are a marketer. You are not even a record label. And you are doing this for a musician. They have not seen that before. There are people that came to me. I gave them money. Go and shoot your video. Go and do your songs. There are many, plenty of people. Yeah. But you see, yeah. the reason was because this is a call to me. This is ministry to me. It wasn't, I want to make money. Mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. do something. No, no, no. It was, this is what I am called to do. So, if I eat, I'm fine. If I don't eat, I'm fine. As far as I'm concerned, let that, what, some people will call me. Those are, it's good we bring up this. People will call me in the night. One day, somebody called me, I can't remember, recall. Somebody called me one day and said, the mother was sick. And they bought this Unlimited. And they were playing it. Their mother stood up from wheelchair. Wow. Just CD. Wow. Wow. I say, is your mother there? Let me pray with you. You're not there. I'm not a singer. You know, some people don't know what happens behind the scene. Yeah. And I thank God they are able to hear this today. Yeah. I will stay there and I will begin to pray for her. Now imagine if it's someone that was in the club. Exactly. And they call the person to share that uh, I played music and my whole the thing is going to tell them. Yeah. But see, because for me. Because you understand the ministry part of it yes. is ministry more than is business for you that's why you were able to say okay let me pray how can somebody what is somebody who is clubbing pray uh, i know do you so, understand so God. understanding the ministry you know as you were just talking i remember that i can't even count how many studios i have set up for other artists hmm. wow uncountable just check online it's there wow you know, so what I meet, I do, I, you meet an upcoming guy who is producing and you listen, so please, I want to, I want to make my music. I said, I, I'm a producer and I do this. What do you use? And they will bring one old, dead and gone laptop. You know the type I used to use? That that that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, what does it really cost to wow. get these people a mini studio? It's a laptop, speaker, sound card, That's it. MIDI controller. Do you understand? So it, I have given out over 20. Wow. It is online. The Lord will bless you. Sir. I have gone to churches where they brought me, the keyboard that they brought for me to play look like someone that has lost all their teeth. Wow. Of course, I had to buy. 
Do you understand? So this is so I'm not looking at it. Uh, I'm buying Kibo. How much did you pay me to come? Do you understand? No, my mindset have outgrown that. I understand that this is Go. ministry. So this back end of the story that people don't know. This back end of the story that the upcoming people need to understand. They need to understand. So they think, so they just see you on shine, sh on stage, see you riding a nice car, see you say, ah, they say, ah, I want, I want to, to be, be like, like Frank Edwards. <laughs> the people that came to me, one man came one day, and he was like, sir, you need to hear my song. I know you are marketing Frank Edwards, you are bringing, if you hear what I have, I say, excuse me, sir, I'm sorry, I don't have time for what you are saying. He says, sir, can you hear? I said, please, I'm not here. For, for you to just tell me what you are telling me, I'm not interested in your music. And few of such people, if I eventually try to listen to what they have, I was like, can you imagine? Because they don't understand grace. They don't understand yeah. there are things. You don't get it by competition. When it has no, 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 no. It's not about competition. It's life. It's what you receive yeah. that you give. It's not like, oh, future me. I was telling people during the time, I said, see, so people think that when you future people, their music become, we blow and become yeah. everywhere. But sometimes I tell them, I say, this is gospel. It's not that. You see, if, you're not, if it's not your time, and what you are doing is not right, future whoever you want to future. Yeah. In fact, if you future a big artist, that big artist will be the owner of the song. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody will even know that you exist. Because this thing is a spiritual it's thing. It's a spiritual thing. It's not like the secular the collabo and the whatever we are doing, when we are high, you can do what. No. This is spiritual. It's very spiritual. It has to do with God. And I feel like that's where you come in, you know, with this establishment. I tell you something spiritual about this thing hmm. that you have done. You know, I've seen the studio, I've seen the space. In those days, even before the definition, when I would go, you know, I didn't have a studio, but I would just receive some songs. I would be looking for where to record it. So in those days, I've also gone to those secular studios yeah. where people smoke and do every other thing. So of you're working, coming with your own sessions. And I noticed that once they start to produce my music, inspiration will just vanish. Yeah. There will be no... There's no God there. I'll, they will finish the thing. I'll be listening to the music. It's, it's empty. Hmm. It's empty until God said to me, go and learn how to produce set up your own studio even if it's radio speaker use it use it i will be i can amplify i can be in that radio speaker instead of this whole studio where it's void of the presence of god the uh, um, um definition yeah that is so the, the i told you how i recorded yeah, it I know. it was in somebody's room i know now i know the it guy. was in somebody yes it was all of them like that okay. i started that with a radio speaker i know I saw the it, microphone I that I used to voice the definition. No, this your back of microphone is even good. It was dead and gone, so I just use a um, handkerchief to cover the microphone. Use rubber band to tie it. So when I want to um, record, because there was no vocal booth, so it was, I was staying with someone. I will use the blanket to cover myself and the microphone. Wow. Yeah. So blanket was my vocal booth. That definition that you're hearing. That from that Lord you rain, it was on that blanket. Blanket wow. was my vocal booth. But did it sound like that? No, because God was God there. God was involved. Beautiful. Well, thank you for listening to us. As I said, doesn't need any introduction. Frank Edwards, you have heard it all. He has told us how he started and the journey so far and how God. So it can only be God. Yeah. Some of the things he's saying, I can actually confirm them because I was there and we have worked together and I've seen the way he worked. He's someone that if I take an album from him and just move out, the next two days he's calling me. I have another song. I have another song. Like as if the one I took from him just move away from his his head. You know, something happened at a time. You know, when we had to do Unlimited, it was to be one album. Yes, yes, yes. Remember? Yes, it was supposed to be one album. It was supposed to be one album. But when I listened, I saw so many good songs. And I said, let's make it two CD. Let's make it two album at one. Yeah. You know? And uh, we talked about it. And uh, after the deal was agreed and everything, I came around. Some people were asking you, how can you do that? 
this is 19 song. Yeah. It was to be 2020, but it didn't enter the city. We yeah. tried. We, in fact, it, it, we removed some because it couldn't fit into because the city. Because it couldn't fit in. <laughs> so this is 19 tracks, 19 tracks, 38 tracks. Yeah. And when I came back the next week, some people have met you. When they saw the album out, they were like, how can you do this? You could have just given 10 tracks. Yeah. Why giving somebody at once, you are releasing 38 tracks, almost 40 tracks at the same time? That is like four albums. You said something that struck my heart to them. You told them, if I don't give out what I have, my space will be empty, will be, will be we full, full to for receive God to make me. new things. So that you decided to give this out so that new things can and begin come to come. Yeah. And that and was it, what happened. And it has always been like that. And immediately I knew that, immediately I took the al song out, uh, the album out, after maybe a month, two months, maybe you happen to meet or I come around for us to just chat and everything. You said, please listen to this. this. I was like, how is this happening? And that's have to do with dedication. Yeah. That have to do with focus. That have to do with love for what you are doing. Yeah. We appreciate you. In honesty, you are part of us. Yeah. We can't tell our story if you are not there. And that's the reason, when I want to start this, I said, no, the first person that have to be here is you. Because um, you know the vision, you understood how we started, and where we are today, we have been talking about and, it. And you know what happened? That first studio that I started, my first studio that I set up myself small, it was my mom that gave me 150,000. Wow. Yeah. I told her I needed to set up a city. Said, how much do you need? Then I went to Enugu to meet her. I said, like 700,000. <laughs> she just laughed. <laughs> said, she, you know that if you fling me up and hit me on the ground, that kind of money will not come out, but I will see what I can do. So she took all her savings and sold some of her wrappers. Jesus. And she gave me 150,000. She said something. She said, I know that this money may not be enough for what you want to do. She said, but the hand of God is on this money. Wow. It will multiply. Wow. So when I came back to Lagos, I went to Computer Village, bought some things. The one I couldn't buy, I borrowed from Adas or Elder Moses. Mm. I borrowed MIDI keyboard controller. And I was still squatting with someone. And I started I making the music. It. it was after that you came in. It was that first money you paid me. At that time, I didn't have a car. I didn't have a bicycle. I was still trekking. But at that money you paid me, I used everything to buy studio equipment. Wow everything because then immediately you gave me i said the first thing i thought let me call my mom and give her back her money and even add interest and i called her i said mommy see what happened no oh. oh, mommy say oh wow so i was planning to tell her money she said no that's maybe you've been wanting to set up something bigger it's a good something use much. it wow. to set it up so she didn't collect dime from me wow you know so and that money helped me to now at least buy some MIDI control wow, and set no, up a proper I've been studio there. And, I've been there. It's something else. and God took over from there. Wow. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming. We appreciate you. We love you. In honesty, we believe that you're part of us. Yes. So and we keep working. We yes. keep going for that which God has called us to do. And I know that he that has called us, who has started this journey, yeah. will be able to complete it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I thank you for coming today. <laughs> and I thank every one of you that are watching us today. I appreciate you. We are not just sharing this. We are trying to tell you our story. We are not just trying to entertain you. We are trying to tell, tell you our story, how we started, what happened, and where we are today. You can see that mm. today we are still standing. We are still friends. We are, and I know that the God who started this journey, we complete it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know those things that are still there that you are looking up to. I know that this God, who have done that which only him can do, we continue to be with you. Amen. People have not had you more or they've not had enough of you. Amen. Let me put it that way. Because I know that as long as you are connected to the source, yeah. the river will keep flowing. Amen. And yes. I'm have opportunity of hearing some of the new one that is coming. <laughs> guys, guys, this guy, wow. Glory to I God. don't know. I don't know what to say. Glory After to Melody came out, it didn't take three months. He called me and said, this is the album. I said, no, 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 no. Mel I play melody. I dance it. I, 
I said, what was I talking? He said, come. Believe you me, when I hear the ones that are coming, if I tell you something that has to do with music, you better believe me. Believe you me. He is someone I know that the grace of God is on him Amen. to make music. Amen. And I pray that the Lord himself will continue to perfect all Amen. that consigns you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for coming. Thank you May for God having bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you.